Over here on the left side, you can see that there's some substance materials that we can use, but we can actually import more from the substance source. So for that, first of all, I'm going to go over here onto this section right here, add and import content. And over here, you can click on browse substance source. So what that does is it actually opens up a web page for more of the substance stores, as you can see right over here. So you'd have to sign in to your account to actually start using it. So I'm just going to si sign in quickly. And once you sign in, okay, it loads up the space right over here. So for this, what you actually need to do is you need to have a separate sub subscription if you want to download more than the free assets. So a lot of assets over here, as you can see, or the all, a lot of materials are really great. You are, you are, there are a lot of choices right here. You want to download them, then you need a premium subscription. But let us go on to our free assets right here and see what we can use. So you can see that these are some of the free assets and uh, these are some of the assets we can use besides what is already included right over here. You can see that these are the materials uh, which are m more uh, which are uh, extra to the ones we already have. So I'm just going to go around here. Let's say I want to bring in the stylized lava crack right over here. So let me just download this out over here. So once I download it, it downloads an SVSAR file right over here, just like that. So now let me let me just go back into dimension. And to apply the material on, uh, I need to select a model first. I'm just going to go and select a spear. And Okay, let's select something else, for example, uh, a cylinder this time. So now I'm going to apply the material there. To apply the material, I need to go to file. Then I need to click on import and place material on selection. So simply click on that. And what it does is that it opens up. You can browse around where you downloaded the file. So stylized lava, that's the file that I downloaded. So let me just open that out. And what happens is that you get the material, as you can see, right over here. So you get the material right over here and you get all the parameters on here on the right side. You can change the color of the lava as well, as you can see. So these are the options provided. So you can also make them look like they are different textures, just like that as well. Let me just change that out to lava itself. And you can change the lava contrast right over here. As you can see, you can change the lava level right over here. So you can really bring it up or just bring it down over here. So that's something cool. And you can work around with the heat of the lava, as you can see right over here. So you can change that around as well. And change the intensity. You can change the cut intensity. And there are some other uh, technical parameters like luminosity, which is there, which is contrast, hue set. So a lot of things are actually here, as you can see. You can also go to miscellaneous. There's the resolution right over here. You can bring it down so you can have a low res like effect, or you can bring it up and have a high res effect right over here, just like that. So these are different settings that you can choose. And this is uh, besides what is available in our existing library. So you can download uh, substance materials just like that, import it out in Adobe Dimension and start using it. So that is how you can bring in custom substance materials inside of Adobe Dimension. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.